Okay, in this video, uh, I'm going to use code blocks to write code and then kind of remotely send it over there and um, get it in to Putty. So I'm going to write sort of a minimal pro program. Um, I'll put a, a small class in there just so we have a couple of files to mess with. So I'm going to create a new project, console application, C++, uh, I'll call it um, <laughs> a junk object for no particular reason. Okay, so there's my junk object. Here's main. Um, I'm going to use, might as well use code blocks as here. So uh, I'm going to do new class. Uh, this class is going to be a junk of class names. We have capital letter. This is a junk object. Doesn't have a destructor. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do the low. Well, you know what? I like lowercase names. So I'm just going to put it in lowercase names. Um, so make sure these are both checked. I'm going to create it. I want to add it to the current project. Sure, why not? All that stuff. Now I have sources. I have headers over here. Um, and then in here, I'm going to create a junk object called J. Um, in order to get it to work, I need to include uh, junk object uh, h inside double quotes. Um, it doesn't do anything, right? It just files in there, but it'll run. So, in order to make, so I need to compile it, right? And then I can run it, and here we go. We have hello world. So it 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 compiles. So we have all these pieces in here, and if all the pieces weren't in there, it wouldn't compile and run. Now, I'm going to go to my uh, Windows uh, Explorer, I guess it's called, and I'm going to look in the junk object directory. We can see that, well, first off, I don't have my file extensions turned on, so I can't really see the extensions right here, but um, I have this junk object depend, I have junk object a header file, which is the .h. I have a source file, the source file. There's this junk object project file, right? That's the the CPB file, the code blocks file. Then I have two other directories or folders underneath it. This bin folder has a debug in it, and in here it contains the executable, right? This is the output of the minus o on the gcc command. And I don't know if you can see it or not on the video, but when I run this, it flashes up, right? It flashes hello world. And then it disappears. Um, in the object, in debug, see there's a junk object.o and a main.o, right? This is the object files. Now, again, the, these object files and executable files aren't copyable from system to system. So I don't want to copy this stuff, the bin and the object. And I don't want to copy this code blocks because I'm not using code blocks. I don't need the depends, but the depend file, but I do need to copy the C++ source file and the header file. So those are what I need to copy. So I'm going to, um, well, I don't really need code blocks anymore. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to open up my WinSCP. I'm going to connect to my remote system. Okay. Um, and... Um, Oh, brought me to a directory. I thought it was going to bring me home. Anyway, well, maybe it stays. Anyway, so here, here's back to the home directory. I could also hit home, a little home directory to get here. Right, that's the cd command. Um, here's my 125 directory. I don't have a directory to put this in, so right, I can do the Windows thing. Right click, new, new folder, new directory. Uh, I'll call this junk object All right so now I have a jump junk object folder that's all empty and what I can do is I can just uh, 
grab them. I can like, do the multi-click thing. Drag them over. Now, saying three files to copy. It's got a transfer settings. It's important to be concerned about these transfer settings. But if you look at these, these are all like the text files that would be there. I can see there's a .cpp and a .h, right? Which is it knows that these are to be transferred as if they are text files. Additionally, I could just go here to transfer settings and just put text in because I know they're text files, and you know they're text files. So I'll copy that. And there they are. Um, you can turn that off and use the automatic, and, and you don't even need to see it. You can pretend it doesn't exist, but it does exist, so you need to know that. Um, again, copying anything else isn't going to help you here. Just these you need to copy. Now, how do we compile it remotely? Well, we're really going to need to use PuTTY. So here's PuTTY. I'm going to connect to the system. Uh, I'm going to fit my window so you can see it. I'm going to log in. I'm going to put in my password. Um, now I need to go to that directory. It was under CSC125, and it was under uh, junk object. Right? And there are the files I uploaded. How do I compile it? Well, G++, remember the shortcut I did, star CPP, which compiles everything that ends in CPP, which would be this file and this file. Never compile header files. I'm going to call it, uh, I don't know, run junk. Compiled, no errors, and then I expect no errors because it compiled on the other one. And then if I do run junk, there we go. It works. So here's sort of the idea behind writing the files locally, copying them over here. Um, thank you.